All right, so you guys, we have some more hacks. We're not done with you yet. Thank you for thank you for being here. Hey, and um, if you're new to the channel, I'm Dr. Andrea O'Connor. This is my mom, Carol. And um, we're just talking about just like little tips to make you look and feel better. Um, so right now, my mom has agreed to let me try a wig on her. So we're going to try it. So you guys all know that um, I've been new to the wig world, and I have this Raquel Welch wig that I have just been loving. It's the Raquel Welch. This one is called um, Straight Up With a Twist, and it's got some really nice gold highlights in it. Um, it's got some little feather pieces. I feel like this wig looks like Lady Di. Remember Lady <laughs> Diana? It's got this... I mean, really, look at it, doesn't it? Looks like yeah. her hair. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try this on my mom. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. Okay, so mom, it just goes on like a hat. So I'm going to help you. But you 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 know, too, because you used to do wigs back in the day, no? Oh, for a little while we wore wigs. But in the summertime, I... So I, mom, um... look, there's a tab here. Do you feel this tab? And there's one on the other side. Do you feel this tab here, right where my fingers are? Now pull it down like a hat, like you're gonna put a stocking cap on. There you go. And to the back, you can just pull it. You can pull it by the hair too if you want to. I'm not, I don't care. Just give it a pull. There, like a hat. Like a snug hat. Oh, look at you. All right, now we're gonna fix oh, this. Oh, wow. I know. So it has, now we can actually, your hair is actually kind of not dissimilar from this color. <laughs> okay, we gotta, we're gonna fix this. We gotta kind of play with it for a second. What a different look. Jeez. Oh my gosh, look at that. So I like to tuck one side behind because I think when you blend your own hair, which, mom, your hair is almost, you're, <laughs> it's basically this color, that's really pretty. Tuck one side back, and then you can play with the front. It has a very realistic hairline, so I'm gonna pull this forward a little bit so you get that, yeah. Yeah, I get that back part. And you can kind of play with the bangs a little bit, however you want to. Okay. That's fun. Now, have, uh, it's really hot on the head, though, huh? <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't yeah. work in the in you Phoenix, wouldn't like that no. in Phoenix in the summertime. No, and no. we'd have to make the eyebrows lighter. Really? I don't know. I think it no? looks kind of no. I think oh, it looks really good. Okay. I don't know. That color does look good on you. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. You do look a totally different person. I'm gonna <laughs> poof this up just to see what happens when I. No, we don't like that. I don't like it poofed. You can kind of play with these bangs a little bit, just how you think you would want to wear it. Anyway, not that you would wear this, but it's kind of fun to try colors. Like if, you, if you're curious about what other colors look on you, you know, just put a wig on. Um, I think that looks kind of pretty. You see what I mean by I think it looks like Lady Diana hair. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thick and layered. Yeah. All right. Well, while we're goofing around with that, Mom. Um, so, Mom, tell everyone what you do as far as like your activity of how you stay active. I know we kind of, we talked about it briefly on another video where you talked about how important it is to have a good attitude, but let's get down to the nuts and bolts. So, cause I know you're not a big TV watcher. So what does that mean? No. You're not sedentary. So speak a little bit about, about how important it is and kind of what you're, you know, when you get back to your walking routine, tell people what you do. Well, for one thing, being out in nature is always very uplifting. That's true. Soothing and uplifting. Mm -hmm. So I do some walking. I, I was doing a lot of hiking, uh, not so much lately. And um, I rarely eat anything that I feel is not good for me, except for cookies. Yeah. Cookies. <laughs> Well, you got to enjoy life. Yeah, yeah. I like the 80-20 rule. Be good 80% of the time and 20% of the uh, time you have a treat. You know? Yeah. Yes. But I know that you've always, since I can remember, you've always been active. Like when I was really young, um, you played tennis a lot. Yes. And um, I'm trying to get that so they, they feel like they're part of the conversation. <laughs> um, so my, my mom used to play a lot of tennis, very, very active. But even, um, gosh, I remember in your 50s and 60s, you walked every day, right? Yeah. Lots of hiking. Yeah. yeah. Walking and hiking. Walking, walking, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it doesn't hurt if you do the uh, strength training, too, mm -hmm. to maintain your muscles. Yeah, yeah, very good tips. But you eat really healthy, too. I give do. Us, give us an idea of, like, a day of good eating. Because <laughs> some people are like, well, what do you think I should eat in a day? <laughs> well, at noon, I usually have a chicken sandwich with fresh spinach. You know how people put lettuce on their sandwiches? Yeah. I... Uh, 
layer of spinach, fresh spinach leaves mm -hmm. in my sandwich. And um, in the evening, I often have broccoli with my meal. Yeah. Not often. I always have either broccoli or spinach. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And on your sandwich, do you use like mustard? Or mustard. Dressing? Mustard Not and mayo. a little pickle relish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. And you're not a big sweet eater. Cookies. Yeah. Got to have those cookies. <laughs> but we're not talking a bag of cookies. No. Like one no, cookie. one cookie. Yeah, just a cookie. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, very good. Um, I mean, and then as far as, you know, taking vitamins and supplements, and again, you can talk with your doctor, um, but at least being on a really um, quality multivitamin um, you know, I've talked about all this. We'll, we'll do a live chat too um, soon where if you guys have questions, we're happy to answer them. And if my mom wants to join us again, if you guys want to do a live chat, um, that would be great. So, um, mom, can you think of any other little secrets you know about staying active and young looking? <laughs> Put you on the spot? <laughs> well... Being, I mean, being a peaceful person, not mm -hmm. a person who goes out in the world looking to fight and argue and tell other people how they ought to be, just yeah. being accepting and loving in the world, I, I think that's done a lot for me. Yeah, I think that's really good advice, yeah. having, having positivity and, I don't know, I'm really into forgiveness lately. Um, if someone has done you wrong, it only hurts your own heart. You have to forgive. And I know there's a friend of mine that I reached out to recently just to say, you know, I'm sorry what happened with us in the past, but, and, and don't, don't blame the person. Like if, if, if you had a friend that you kind of missed, but you had a falling out, you may not necessarily want them in your life, but if you forgive them, that lifts your heart. It's off your heart now and you can kind of move on, you know? So that's a big thing too. I don't know. Mom, you're very forgiving. That's all I can say. <laughs> well... <laughs> I try not to engage in, in issues that really don't have to do with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in a condo association and sometimes there's ladies there that are just looking to argue with somebody, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. I avoid those interactions. Yeah. So there's no forgiveness to, uh, to engage because yeah. Yeah. I don't engage with it. Is that wig getting hot? Yes. <laughs> we're going to take, take it off and fix your hair. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, um, again, thank you for being on this uh, series that I have um, had my mom with. And I know we've been wanting to have her on the channel. So I'm so glad you could be here with us. Um, again, if you have any questions for my mom, please leave them in the comments below. I know she would be happy to answer them. I can always get her on the phone. Um, all right, everybody. Have a great day. And we will see you on the next one.